If you're in the short how-to video on how to analyse a DNA gel or a chemolescent blot using gene tools analysis software, you'll be shown how to 1. Use the sample properties box 2. Edit and adjust tracks or bands 3. Add molecular weight ladders and quantities 4. Export to Microsoft Excel and Word When you open gene tools software from the icon on the desktop, you will see the username pop-up box. Select the name from the drop down list and press OK. You can also send images directly to Gene Tools from Genesis Image Capture software using the Gene Tools icon. In Gene Tools software, you can analyse SGD and TIFF file formats. We recommend that the SGD file format is used as this file type contains the raw data. To open an SGD file, select the open icon and browse for the image you wish to analyse. If using a TIFF file format, select file, then new import, then browse for the image you wish to analyse. On the sample properties box, use a drop down menu to select analysis type, for example, gel. Gentle software should automatically detect the image type as fluorescence or absorption. Fluorescence is when you have white bands on a dark background, and absorption is when you have black bands on a white background. Let your freezer's direction is set to down as default. But if the gel block was placed sideways or upside down when the image was captured, you can select the leptophoresis direction here. You can also select the area of interest. The area of interest is represented by the red rectangle that appears over your image. You can move and resize this rectangle so that it fits around the part of the gel or blot you wish to analyse. If you have more than one gel blot in the captured image, then you can increase the number of columns or rows so that each blot or gel has its own area of interest. Gene Tools is said to automatically detect bands and lanes, but sometimes Gene Tools software may find it a bit difficult to automatically detect bands or lanes, especially when you only have a few lanes with any bands present or if there is a high background. You can select to hint the number of tracks or to create number of tracks, which can then be manually positioned and press OK. The software will automatically detect the lanes and bands. In some circumstances you may need to adjust the lanes slightly and you can do this by adjusting the width of the track using the track width icon. Or you can move, tilt or bend the track using this icon. This is particularly useful if the gel has a smile and the samples have not run straight. You can also position all tracks and display all tracks. To adjust the amount of which the tracks in the selected area of interest are spread apart.
to delete or add band, you can delete a band by right clicking on the band and selecting delete from the menu. It is particularly useful if you have specks of dust on, on the gel or you know that that is not a band. To add bands, you can double click on the mouse. The added band will appear in the results table with an M next to it to indicate that the band was manually added. Results will be shown in the table below. You can choose which parameters you wish to view in the results table by right clicking and selecting parameters from the drop down list. For DNA gels, typically a molecular weight ladder is loaded onto the gel to estimate the size of the bands of interest. To add a molecular weight ladder, you need to select the laying track that contains the molecular weight ladder and then select the Assign Molecular Weight Quantity standard icon. Or you can right click and assign a molecular weight quantity standard from the menu. You can either select the molecular weight ladder from the drop down list. But if your ladder is not listed, you can either edit an existing standard or manually input a new molecular weight ladder. Press Assign from Standard, then press OK. The molecular weight calibration curve should now appear on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. When you look at the results table, you should see a new column has been added, molecular weight. And the molecular weight has been calculated for each band detected. To add a known quantity, select the band that you wish to add a known quantity to. And then select the assign quantity icon or right click on the band and assign a quantity from the menu. From the Assign Calibrated Quantities pop-up window, enter a value into the Calibrated Quantity box, for example 100, and press OK. The results table will now be updated to show the quantities of all bands compared to the band with the known quantity. You can easily export your data to Microsoft Word. or to Microsoft Excel. You can also highlight the results table All parts of the results table and copy and paste to Excel.